President Biden's diagnosis has sparked renewed debate about PSA screening and when it should stop. Current guidelines often recommend ending screening at a certain age, but some healthy older men may still be at risk. Do you believe that age-based cutoffs should be reconsidered? And how do you approach conversations with patients who want to continue testing later in life? And separately for men who are screened regularly, how do, you, how do we explain where aggressive prostate cancer can emerge suddenly, even after years of normal PSA results? Yeah, a lot to unpack there and an incredibly important conversation. My brief thoughts on it, age is but a number, and we should be considering prostate cancer screening in men who have a reasonable life expectancy. So there are 55-year-old men that I think it would be crazy to screen for prostate cancer. And there are men in their upper 70s and even 80s where I think it's thoughtful and appropriate to screen for prostate cancer because they're gonna live a while. Age-based cutoffs, I'm not a big fan of them. We tend to you know, give advice as a medical community with simple thresholds and cutoffs, and oftentimes that leads to unnecessary oversimplification. The other thing you allude to is that there are some prostate cancers that no matter how aggressive you're screening, they go from nothing to something and it's hard to imagine that any level of screening are going to catch those. The purpose of screening are to pick up the ones that have developed over yeah. time and may eventually cause problems so we can intervene and prevent those problems.